Fan me off. Fire right there in that first verse. Hot damn. Falling in reverse army, y'all are the sh In just like a month and a half. My review of Falling in Reverse Popular Monster became the biggest review on my channel. You're getting gassed up on the latest new rock reviews here on this channel. I'm Diesel and I am a rock radio DJ. I'm going to react to the song, review the lyrics, and then assess the song's radio viability. In this video, I'm reviewing Losing My Life, another massive, massive hit from Falling in Reverse. I love Popular Monster. Let's see if they can do it again on this track. Come on! By the way, there are some skits in this music video. I'm going to cut right past those, go straight to the song, because I know that's what y'all are here for. Do I know you? Yes, you do. This seems so familiar. You're in a dream. Who are you? synthesizer in there is dope what right out of the gate sounded boss i lay awake every night looking back on my life well apologies to the people i love for the things i've done really make it right i guess it might just then i realized my past is the reason i'm here right now as a matter of fact i won't apologize you bitches always I am constantly changing Think of how far that I've made it From my incarceration It's amazing, ain't it? But I'm in the zone I'm a rolling stone I'm coming home But I'm not alone Do I really gotta let another motherfucker know? Woo! Fan me off Fire right there in that first verse Damn I lay awake every night Looking back on my life well, apologies to the people I love for the things I've done really make it right. If you're a fan, you know Ronnie Radke has been through some in his life. Uh, he's made some poor decisions, but homie has come back stronger. He had to leave behind an amazing band that was on the rise. Go to jail, do his time, start all over again with falling in reverse. And man, these guys are just, these, these guys are crushing. But this is what people go through in their heads. If they've done things like this, they go through, will apologies help? Will atonement even do anything because it's uncomfortable it's it's incredibly uncomfortable to apologize for bad shit you've done nobody wants to do it but you have to do it just then i realized my past is the reason i'm here right now as a matter of fact i won't apologize you bitches always piss because i'm constantly changing ronnie radke has constantly reinvented himself over his career escape the fate was a cutesy kind of teen pop punk emo metal core band there's still some elements of that here in falling in reverse the band and roddy himself have completely reinvented themselves he used to be skinny with black hair they just kind of went over his face like that he was sadsies all the time that's not who falling in reverse are falling in reverse seemed to be a much more aggressive band seemed to be a much more aggressive angle for ronnie and i'm stoked to hear it let's go think of how far that i've made it from my incarceration it's amazing ain't it yes it is but I'm in the zone, I'm a rolling stone, I'm coming home, but I'm not alone. Do I really gotta let another motherfucker know? Ronnie's run the gauntlet from rock critics, from tastemakers, from gatekeepers all over the internet telling him that he sucks, that his band sucks, that their music is awful. Look, music is only as good as the person who's listening to it. If it's not your kind of music, it sucks. I could listen to Lady Gaga and tell you that it sucks because it's not my kind of music, but people who love Lady Gaga are like, oh, it's so amazing. She's speaking to me. Look, there's no accounting for taste, but especially for a guy like Ronnie, who's been through it legitimately. He's gone to jail. He served his time. He's got to get out and listen to all these people talking. No, they don't know anything. I'm going to back that up just a little bit so that we hit the chorus just right. I'm in the zone. I'm a rolling stone. I'm coming home, but I'm not alone. Do I really got to let another motherfucker know? Oh my God, that's that's so good. Look, Ronnie's voice is not fantastic. It's not the best voice in rock, but it's great for the song. It fits, okay? It's got a lot of angst in it. That's all I'm looking for. You know, I'm not looking for Whitney Houston. 
I'm not looking for Rod Stewart on every single song. I just want to hear somebody who can come with passion in their voice. And Ronnie's got a ton of that. This is not a song that I know a ton about. I've heard the song maybe once or twice, especially after I looked up Popular Monster and kind of got into that tune. So I really am kind of reacting to it for the first time doing some critical listening. I won't surrender. No, I won't let you bring me down. Yeah, to hell with people who all they want to do is bring you down. That's what the internet is. It's just millions of people who want to tell you that you suck for doing something they never had the balls to go out and do for themselves. So where the hell do I go from here? Who do I believe? Who do I believe when everyone feels so insincere? For any artist, for any entrepreneur who's out there trying, who's out there trying to do things that have never been done before or that they've never done before, there's always those haters. There's always those people who want to tell you that you're wasting your time, that you're no good at it, that they don't really see you as being the kind of person who can pull something like that off. You have to silence those people. You got to go out and be you, do what you want to do. And if it works, great. If it falls flat, so be it. But at least you learn from it. Who do I believe when everyone feels so insincere, like everyone's out to get me, who will save my life? How do I believe in anyone? Please don't mind me. I just kill myself sometimes. That's that voice in your head. After people have been telling you all along that you're not right for this, that you're not going to be good at this, that you're going to fail, that voice in your head starts to creep in to tell you that you're going to fail. I don't think he's literally talking about killing himself in this situation. Maybe he is, but I don't think that he is. I think he's talking about that voice in your head that helps you get over failure or that voice that tells you that you're a failure because everyone else has been telling you. Love a lot smarter thing you think. Everything I did was planned. When he punches in like that, it's sick. All right, I'm feeling good about this. Wham! I'm a lot smarter than you think. Everything I did was planned. To get you to listen, to get your attention, you post an opinion and it gets me bigger. Are you triggered? <laughs> Figures, here's the kicker with every trigger. I'm getting richer from offended, bitter little Twitter pictures all up in my mentions looking for attention because they starved them. If you want to call me the king of the music scene, I got news for you. We got to fit like a second cut. I respawn like I have a reset button, hated more than Trump. It's running rackets back to rapping, acting ratchet, release a cracker, delete your asses. I'm not the rapper from the motherfucking morning. Yeah. Oh, dude is spitting straight fire. He, 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 style wise, he reminds me a little bit of Machine Gun Kelly. He, he reminds me a lot of Machine Gun Kelly. A little bit of Eminem, especially later in his career. I'm thinking especially of, uh, what was it, Rap God and whatever song that Eminem put out to diss on Machine Gun Kelly. It reminds me of those two tracks. But it's hard, it's edgy, it's mean. I'm a lot smarter than you think. Everything I did was planned to get you to listen, to get your attention. So post your opinion and it gets me bigger. Yeah, to hell with people. Who, uh, who on the internet, that's all they do, is try to bring you down. Sometimes you got to trigger people to get them talking about you. I mean, hell, I posted a review of a Tool song, and I posted it in the title, Tool Fans Are Gonna Hate Me. I actually really complimented the song, but only because I put that in the title, Tool Fans, the hardcore militant keyboard warrior Tool Fans, came after me. It made me bigger. Are you triggered? Haha, <laughs> figures. Here's the kicker with every trigger. I'm getting richer from offended, bitter little Twitter bitches all up in my mentions looking for attention because they're starved of it. You ever heard that saying, there's no such thing as bad press? This is what it's all about. This is Ronnie saying, you know what the hell with you? I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do something that's out of my norm, that's out of my comfort zone, that's nothing like anything that I've ever done before. And I know I'm going to catch some heat for it. I know people are going to talk about me on the internet for it, on Twitter. But I don't care because every single time you do that, I get bigger and bigger and bigger. You want to call me king of the music scene? I got news for you. I'm the god of it. Like the second coming. I respawn like I have a reset button. Hated more than Trump is Ronnie Radke's back to rapping. Acting ratchet. Release the Kraken. Delete your asses. <laughs> that's funny. I'm not the rapture. I'm the motherfucking morning after. Oh, that's sick. You want to call me king of the music scene? Escape the fate. We're huge in that metalcore, especially the, the more pop punk version, the more pop punk side of the metalcore scene, and, and Ronnie is, uh, he's the biggest name. He's the biggest fish in that small pond, so of course he's gonna, he's gonna catch the heat. He's gonna be looked at as the leader of that scene. He never has to be the leader of that scene. He's just the most recognizable one because he's out there taking risks. There's a lot of bands out there who don't take risks. They're out there just doing what they know is gonna get them, you know, a couple hundred thousand monthly subscribers on Spotify, and that's cool with them. I respawn like I have a reset button. Hated more than Trump is Ronnie Radke's back to rapping, acting ratchet, release the Kraken, delete your asses. I'm not the rapture, I'm the motherfucking morning after. You don't give a fuck what you think. 
He's out here doing himself. No matter what you think, or you think, or you think, or you think, or you over there in your mom's basement getting on Twitter, boo, 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 boo. he don't care what you think. He's just out here getting bigger. No! Yes, was never a huge falling in reverse fan. I didn't give them the time to convert me over. But now, after Popular Monster, after this song, I'm a fan. I get concert tickets for free anyway, but I'd spend my hard-earned money to go see Falling in Reverse live. This is hard. You're winning people over one by one. I just can't. You got hip hop, you got electronic, you got metal, you got emo, you got screamo, you got all these blending together into one badass package. I don't have a whole lot more good stuff to say about it because it's that good. I mean, it's all around really good music. The video, the visuals, fantastic. Nowhere the fuck Then he changes it up. Then he takes the chorus that he sort of shouted a little bit, sang earlier in the song, and he screams that chorus. It just adds that extra element, that extra grittiness. <laughs> way that he ended that song instead of just doing what he'd done already previously throughout the song he adds a whole lot of vulnerability with the way that he sings that last line in that chorus i just kill myself sometimes that's just it's fantastic songwriting structure and apparently ronnie writes all of this stuff himself or is a huge huge part of the way the band writes the music so credit to ronnie he's out there doing that a lot of bands aren't doing there's a lot of bands out there playing it safe Write the same kind of tunes that the other band down the street you're all writing. And he says, eh, bump that. I'm going to go a different direction. Change this thing up constantly. Keep on the cutting edge of what my genre is doing by creating that cutting edge. He's not copying the cutting edge. He and Falling in Reverse are creating that cutting edge. I got nothing but good things to say about this song. It's killer. I love it. I really hope that radio will eventually pick up Falling in Reverse. Trust me, I'm... <laughs> Oh, am I trying? I haven't played this song on my show. I haven't put it on the Smasher Trash feature that I do. But I did do Popular Monster, and that was a huge hit. And I'm trying to convince the boss man. I'm like, yo, look at this. Look how many Spotify subscribers they got. Look how many YouTube views all their videos are getting. We got to touch these guys because there's something special going on here. I can't be the one to sit here and tell you that that's going to happen. Uh, I wish that it would, uh, but that's my assessment of its radio viability. Should it be on radio? Yes. Will it be on radio? Probably not. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button or drop a comment down below. That would be huge. And if you really, really like the video and you want to see more of my reviews, then down in the lower right-hand corner of this video, you'll see a subscribe button. Click that and then hit the little bell notification right next to it. That way you get a notification. A heads up every single time I post a brand new review here on this video. 
Radio DJ Reacts, Diesel on Radio. See you next time. By the way, huge shout out to all the people who got into the comment section and asked me to do this song. This one's for you. <laughs>